Nice, nice. I'm gonna get this superior down with just barraging, so. It's gonna be really con- Oh, nice! Okay. First superior of the day. I always like doing the neck rails because I always get those tops. Uh, those totem pieces, so that's good. Hardcore Percy has found the lucky impling. I guess I'm gonna be the one that catches it. This will be the third lucky impling, so. Let's go ahead and uh, check out what it is. Can we get something lucky or what? Oh shit, 200 nature runes, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty decent, man. Always need some nature runes. Alright, so I just finished task number 999. Wow. I thought I was going to get a thousand uh, before I hit 99 Slayer, but when I got the 99 Slayer a long time ago, it you know wasn't the case. And uh, actually... Today is going to be the day where I hit uh, four digits, baby, on those Slayer task numbers together. There we go. Second superior of the day for a totem base. Okay. Alright, no biggie. Yo, just finished the 1,000 Slayer task. And I got 750 points. That is so much Slayer points. Jesus. That is a pretty cool milestone, though. I wouldn't lie, man. How many totems do I got? Nine totems! Oh my god, dude. Shit, I thought I was at seven, man. I'm <laughs> I'm losing track. Holy shit. Let's just check it out. Second hard clue of the day. Rune is shield. Let's see here. Oh, nice. It's a unique item. Cool. Oh my god. 474 XP drop. Holy shit. What was that? 4841. Hell yeah, man. That's crazy. I bought dry and arrows just because I really wanted, you know, to hit like big, big. And yeah, I think 48, one splat is the max. So you can potentially hit a 48, 48, and I was only seven damage off from max. Dude, this is the first time I've gone to Jab Face. <laughs> oh wait, no, this is the second time today. All right. Oh my God, really? Oh, dude. Wow, on my 1700th KC, I got an Onyx drop. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna get ready to. Let you know I'm hitting 1700, but not the Onyx. What the fuck? Oh my god, yo! Damn, bro, what? Good shit, good shit, yo. Perfect. Perfect, dude. How much is that nowadays? It's probably like still 100 mil, but yo, grats, dude. 91 with the Javelin. Nice. Is that the spec? So I got some of my emote clue stuff mixed up. Uh, I thought that I needed the Zami plate for a master clue, but it turned out I don't. So what I could do is I can uh, save one full helm for myself, and I can just uh, store a full Zami set in my house, which is very nice. Save myself two bank space. So I have done the math for all of my fruit tree slash tree saplings that I can plant for XP. And it totaled around 978,000 and change. And that's really good because look at how much XP is left for 99. 998,000. So if I just do basically a few herb runs in there along with these tree runs, then I will be all set. So I really don't have to worry about uh, getting extra seeds anymore for 99 farming because I have everything I need. So it's only a matter of time until this goal is complete. So that's going to be awesome, man, when the time comes. All right. First kill should be uh, ready. Okay. Here we go. Going to go for 400 KC today. First kill with some soul runes. Not bad. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. That's the first uh, interesting drop of today. Almost at 400 KC here, 398 with a spirit shield. Goddamn collection is stacking up. So many of them. Number 400 for, oh baby, for some coins, man. Well, well, well. It's been a long time since I've hit uh, the next 100 digit on the Corp KC. So yeah, we're still, you know, making some, I would say, decent progress at Corporal Beast. I wonder when I'll hit uh, the 500th. That would be an even nicer uh, milestone, but who knows, man, who knows. So I mentioned an uh, episode or two ago, I was going to go do some skill teaser when I hit five totems, but actually I, I already have nine. 
So before I forget, I'm gonna go and uh, grind out these totems right now. Let's check it out. First kill at uh, Scotizo in a very long time. What we get? Oh shit! I have a what you call it hard clue in the bank, and and I forgot to do it. Oh well, that's fine, cause then I can cash that in for a master coup. Blow a kiss outside Krill Susaros chamber. Beware of double agents. Equipped a Zamrak full helm and a shadow sword. So I guess I'm gonna have to go and get that real quick. But I believe I should be able to get this uh, shadow sword now. It's my first time. Freaking backstab the dude. Nice, got the shadow sword. Let's check out this bad boy here. Oh, wow, that kind of hurt my heart a little bit. All right, second kill. Surprise me. Oh my god, another elite clue? Wow, dude. Am I gonna get another shit master clue reward? Let's find out. All right, let's check this out, man. Here we go. Oh, dude. You know what, man? Death runes are nice. Rune ore is nice. You know, I'll take it, bro. Pretty decent. Kill number four. And uh, what we get? Oh my god, another elite clue. Jesus. That is uh, three out of four kills with freaking elite clue scroll. Holy shit. Oh wow, that was a lot quicker than I thought. Got the death talisman already. I swear I made one a while ago. And then I don't know what happened. I must have dropped it or something. But now I can do this master clue that I got. Third one of the day. I guess I'll just save it for tomorrow, man. Just make the CR and we're good to go. Yeah, let's see if we can get another unique item. It's been a little bit now, so. Oh my god, again! My most recent unique item was the Boots of Darkness. And I get another one. <laughs> what the heck? Nice. Holy shit, I didn't even notice I had an absolute demon superior. Yeah, they changed this. It looks so freaking menacing, but at the same time, I thought I was just killing a regular absolute demon. There we go, killed it. What we get? Alright, just got, you know, the regular stuff, but cool. Pretty exciting. Oh my goodness, dude. Another greater absolute demon. Holy shit, look at this. That's like back to back. Alright, Abyssal Demon dead. Oh, okay. Well, at least I completed a totem though. Damn, three superiors! Alright, third one killed, man. This man just hit a freaking 99! Alright, so I just finished my second small devil task and I'm actually getting about 100k an hour. And yes, I've heard you can even go higher than that, you know, sometimes even up to like uh, 130, 140, stuff like that, K an hour, which is insane. Oh my god! Yo, that's the first unique item I've seen in a long ass time, in over a month. That's cool, that's cool, man. First time seeing that Dragon Hunter crossbow, man. So what's your secret again? Six race drops in like two weeks. Uh, that suck dick, but not all the time. Just the days that end in Y. You gotta space it out. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's like every single day. No, it's just the ones that end in Y, man. It's not all of them. Oh, wait. Alright, there we go. Oh my god! <laughs> what? Wow, dude. That is such a troll. I mean, it great drop, but wow, that's hilarious, dude. Dude, that's like uh, when was the last raid, Scott, that we uh got the dragon hunter crossbow? Uh, it was two. Oh my god, that's crazy! Two dragon hunter crossbows in three, in three raids. Oh my goodness, dude! And this is a unique item. Yo, that's amazing, man. Yo, it's been over a month since my last uh, unique item. So, I checked. My last unique item was the Ancestral Hat, which I got on April, uh, I think, 12th, according to the video that I put out. I guess if there's any, like, new dragons coming out into the game, I will definitely be uh, prepared because Dragon Hunter Crossbow is pretty much one of the best weapons for uh, high-level dragons, especially ones with very high defense. Uh, Wyverns, too. So there is only five unique items left guys. If I recall it is Twisted Buckler, 
Harold the Mall, Ancestral Bottoms, Twisted Bow, of course, and the Dragon Sword. That is the last five items I need. But of course, that is going to be really, really challenging considering the more unique items you do have, the harder it is, you know, to start getting the last few pieces. We might not see another unique item for like two months. So here's a quick recap on the raids progress thus far. So I've done 371 raids and uh, these are all the uh, current items that I have. So I have the Dragon Hunter Crossbow that I just got, Dragon Claws, one Ancestral Top, two Ancestral Hats, two Kodai Insignias, one of them turned into a wand, two Dragon Harpoons, three Throne Axe Drops, one Din's Bulwark, that was my first raids item, a ton of Torn Prayer Scrolls, and also in the prayer section, I've gone Rigor and Augury. So I've gone four Riggers. I transferred three though, so they're not in my bank. And I've gotten two Auguries, the leftover ones right here. And also I got an Onyx from Tecton, so it counts, you know, because I got it from raids. And overall, I gotta say, I'm doing really well, you know, in terms of raids progress. Uh, we're getting a lot of items in the amount of KC that I've gotten. So very happy about that. I want to talk to you guys about the Inferno update that's coming out on June 1st, a little bit less than two weeks from now, and the Inferno is going to be a super challenging version of the Fight Caves. It's not going to be like exactly the Fight Caves, but the concept is similar. It's going to have multiple waves of new mobs and of course a new final boss, and if you can challenge the Inferno and manage to beat it, then you get yourself the new Infernal Cape, which is going to be the new best in slot melee cape in the game, surpassing the Fire Cape. I believe the stats is basically like twice as good as the Fire Cape, basically, plus a strength. That's really the important stat to look out for. So, at the time of making this video, there just isn't too much information in detail about the Inferno, except I think that on Thursday, I know they're doing another uh, Twitch stream for a Q&A so they might talk more about it so we'll have to wait and find out but I highly doubt they're gonna give away too much only until they release it will we know exactly you know what the Inferno is gonna be like and I just wanna let you know that I'm definitely going to be trying out the Inferno on day one with the intent of completing it and I'm really motivated because I like challenges and I really wanna start uncovering the Inferno like the mechanics and its difficulty and all that stuff by myself rather than just wait for people to just beat it share all the tips and tricks on it you know I'd rather try to figure out most of it on my own because then it'll be more of an achievement I will be attempting the Inferno on release date on Twitch so if you didn't already know about my Twitch it's under the description of the video so feel free to follow it if you want to see me attempting to do Inferno on day one so I think that's going to be it for today's video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching as usual. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a like. I would really appreciate that. And also if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the progress of this character, feel free to subscribe as well. Other than that, I think I'll see you guys soon with another video in maybe two to three days. A little bit earlier than the usual. Take care guys.